So what do we have here? Uh, what we have is uh, a system called the Magnify 2 from Giga Macro. And what it does is produce really high resolution and what we call deep focus uh, images. So the issue with high magnification is that the depth of field, that is the piece that appears sharp, is really, really shallow. So what we do is we take lots and lots of pictures that are sharp in different places and then we put them together afterwards to make these superb images that you see behind us. Wow. Um, now they're 3D, correct? Uh, we are not full 3D. We capture height information. Okay. So we have depth. So I can show you something we can do, for sure. example. Sure. Like, like this guy. So we capture the height information when we image the penny. And then what we do is we transform this and run it on our CNC mill back in the workshop. So we have that height information, but of course we can't do the full 3D. When you look at the back, we don't have the information. Yeah, so it's there. released 3D. Right. But in some cases, it's two. pretty good. Yeah. Right. For a lot of our customers, two and a half D's uh, more than sufficient. There's the proper term, right. two and a half D. Right. However, you have a unique system. It looks like a 3D. Sorry, I'm struggling to hear you. Um, yeah. You have a 3D printer. Well, actually, gantry here, very right. similar, but you've mounted some precision equipment to it. Right. Can you kind of give a little detail on that? Right. So, yeah, we have a standard uh, Canon DSLR sitting here uh, with a good uh, middle of the range macro lens. This is a 1x to 5x macro lens. And right now it's imaging that moth, and that's running at about uh, 30,000 pixels per inch. So, how long does it normally take to do one of these? Well, that's one of those, it depends sorts of answers, but okay. in this case, uh, we're, as I say, we're imaging at 30,000 pixels per inch. Uh, we tell the system the left, the right, the top and the bottom, and then the top point that we want sharp and the bottom point we want sharp. Uh, the system calculates the overlaps and the number of images, uh, and then it goes off and does it. And in this case, that's running around 25 minutes to produce okay. that image. Wow. Well, that's not too bad. No, oh, it's pretty good. No, actually, it's pretty, pretty good. good. So, do you have any of these um, on on your website that people can browse? Yeah, or? if you go to www.gigamacro.com/gallery, G-A-L-L-R-E-E-R-Y, uh, you'll find many, many, many images. Uh, we have bugs. We have uh, rocks that you can see through. Uh, coins, pennies, you name it, we've got it.